See, a real man doesn't just wish for things. A real man wills things into existence. Do you understand what I'm saying? A real man doesn't, doesn't, doesn't sit around waiting to, to do good after he feels good. A real man knows that sometimes I got to do good just to feel good. And since God gave us power and dominion over the fish of the sea, the fowl of the air, and every creeping thing that crawls on the earth, then we shouldn't be sitting around waiting on the Spirit to move us. We should get up and move the Spirit. That's what we, O oh power, can do. Thy will, thy will be done. Next one says, give us this day our what? Amen. Now, I, I don't know about y'all, but, but where I, when I was raised, they had a whole lot of different synonyms for money. Same, same here. Sometimes money's called cheddar, cheese, skrill, chips, bank, luchi, bread. Huh? So give us this day our what? Amen. See, the white man don't give daily bread. He gives weekly and bi-weekly bread. So a real man got to find a way to go and do for self and have his own business by which he makes his own money and he's his own shot caller and his own boss. That's daily bread. And brothers and sisters, I promise us this. You and I will be happier doing what we love with less money than doing what we hate and be rich at the same time. When the, well, the minister, he, the minister, he's so beautiful. The minister on the new educational paradigm lecture, he said that I was looking up the definition of happiness. I, he's so beautiful. Look what he said. He said, no, not in the dictionary. He said, I consulted myself. I was like, that, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, who in the hell is Webster anyway? We don't know nothing about this guy. But, so, but we, we are clear that he's messed up on a few words before. Some really important ones, haven't he? His definition for love is cheap. I mean, even one of the uh, great philosophers of our time, three brothers that were united in philosophy, and we thank Allah that they're still alive. You might have heard of them. They're called Houdini. <laughs> These great philosophers, Houdini. Y'all know about Houdini? <laughs> Five minutes of fun. Come on now. Okay, the freaks come out at night. <laughs> Ramadan Mubarak, brother, man. Ramadan Mubarak. So, you never heard the song called Friends? Didn't they say friends? How many of us? Friends. The ones we? Then they said this. They said, you can look the word up. What? Again and again, and the dictionary doesn't know the meaning of friends. So they don't know what, Webster don't know what love is, he don't know what friend, so, so maybe it's good, the minister's definition, I'm going with his definition above Webster, what about y'all? Look at what he said. He said that I found that happiness comes when one has found their purpose for living and they are fulfilling that purpose. That person then has an unspeakable joy so that means that real happiness doesn't come from feeling full of the pocket, but real happiness comes from fulfilling the purpose we are born for. Then the most honorable Elijah Muhammad said, how do you know your purpose? He said, easy. Number one, what you love to do. And whatever you do best is more than likely what you are born to do. In other words, your purpose is that single act that you do well with the least amount of effort. Did y'all did hear me? That's where real happiness and real joy comes from. It comes from operating in your purpose. Now look, Mighty FOI and MGT, we're blessed because we didn't have to go out and Google and put in resumes and shadow people to find out what our purpose was. Our purpose found us. 
Our sole purpose, our sole purpose is to deliver the 17 million now, 47 million or more dead to the Lamb of God. That's our sole purpose. So our number one purpose is to be saviors of our people. Now you can be a savior and a doctor, a savior and an engineer, a savior and an entrepreneur, but savior always gotta be in a mix. Does that make sense? All praises are due to Allah. Next thing, it said, forgive us our sins as what? I know, I, I wouldn't want to say, I don't like saying that one either. <laughs> Did y'all hear what we just said? Forgive, forgive us our sins, talking to the God, as we forgive those who sin. Oh, that's rough. In other words, forgive me, Allah, like I forgive other people. See, what, what that's telling us is that a real man is not petty. A real man doesn't run around with resentment in his mind. See, resentment is letting somebody use your mind rent-free, occupying space, blocking intelligence, killing vision, and they don't even know they're inside of your head. Y'all still all right? So a real man is willing to forgive his brother and his sister, and a real woman too. Did, did y'all hear me? You say, but I, I, how am I going, you know, they, 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 uh, you know I, they, they never have come all the way clean. Yeah, but, but the minister didn't say to just, he didn't say erase your differences. He gave us an instruction to do what? Settle your differences. Now, y'all know what a settlement is, right? Okay, y'all don't know. A, you get in a car accident, right? And you done jams your ring finger, and first thing you want to do is sue. You, know, I, I jam my ring finger, and I, I'm suing for 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 stress, loss of wages, emotional trauma, and I feel like that this accident that jammed up my ring finger is worth at least forty-three point five million dollars. An insurance company come back and say, no, we'll give you $400. And you go back and say, uh-uh, ain't enough money. I, I, I want more than that. I'll tell you what, $23 million. I'll, I'll settle at $23 million. And then the insurance company come back and say, I'll tell you what, we'll give you $1,500. And you say, I'll take it. <laughs> That's a settlement. The math of a settlement is, is that neither side gets all that they want. Each side comes to the negotiation table prepared to give up some of the things they would get if it was 100% in their favor. But they're saying that the, the bond of brotherhood and sisterhood is bigger than our difference. Therefore, I'll take a loss in this area, you'll take a loss in that area, and we come back together and let's work out our salvation. That's the way of the brotherhood and the sisterhood. That's the settling of our differences. All praises are due to Allah.